Hello everyone, it's almost Christmas time and I wanted to let you guys know that a great Christmas present from you guys would be if you guys went over and subscribed to my second channel called TJV. Similar to this channel, but the TJV is a little bit more spelled out. I'll leave a link for it down in the description below. Go subscribe to that channel just in case something happens to this channel and I need a second channel to inform you and update you guys on. Or I will just post random things over there. Don't know when I'll get to it, but it would be awesome if you went and subscribed. Anyways, today I'm talking about a YouTuber who decided to comment on the mini lad situation. This would be So Close to Toast. Now, if you guys remember, So Close to Toast did comment on the Louis Caliber situation, which this was kind of a big deal, because So Close to Toast knew a lot of these guys in person. He was considered part of the Vanoss crew a long time ago, but he has not played with them or collaborated with them in a long time. And this isn't for any bad blood or anything, and you'll see why later in this video. It's just that they decided to part ways, and they weren't going to be making videos together. But regardless, So Close to Toast did comment on the Louie thing, and he slightly commented on the mini thing, but not much. And this is like a full video on it. He reacts to Prism 8 Luke's video, like he did in the Louie Caliber video he made. And anyways, let's jump right into it. Howdy, boys and got the squad So Close to Toast here. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Man, I miss So Close to Toast. Sorry for interrupting this early on, but I really do miss the guy. Checking out one of my, my friends, who I thought was a friend, used to play with all the time, making tons of videos with, has fallen to the, the hashtag me too movement. At first I thought, absolutely no way. It's gonna be one of those instances where it's like pro Jared, where he was able to prove his innocence with receipts and it was like, women trying to take advantage of the whole Me Too movement going on. And unfortunately he came out and admitted to it happening. So I just want to comment real quick. It is obvious that he is uncomfortable talking about this, but he's deciding to make the video for whatever reason he's deciding to make the video for. And he's pretty ashamed. He's pretty upset in his friend for doing something like this because he will explain later on that they were cool and they have been talking and stuff like that and he was pretty much positive with all the other people in the Vanos crew including Mini Lad and that yeah he falled into the whole hashtag me too movement and he admitted to doing what he did and it wasn't like he could have proved himself or it wasn't 100% legitimate or anything it was the truth he did these things and it's pretty awful that he did we're gonna be checking out uh prison mate luke's video we actually saw his video on louis which i checked out and gave my thoughts and impressions on it and if you want to check that out it's up on the channel this would be a great video for you guys to go check out i made a video talking about what he talks about in there and how what he said was pretty big and important because we have someone part of the Vanos crew or was part of the Vanos crew at one point coming out to talk about it and that's a big deal especially that so close to toast agrees that what he did is wrong if they turn out to be true which the whole Louis Caliber thing is kind of on the fence on if is it true is it not some things are true some things are just not 100% proven in terms of the main line situation most of the serious allegations against him are true in a weird spot somebody that you're like close with i want to be there for him to to an extent i don't want to leave this guy in the dust but he's a distant friend to me at this point i haven't really seriously talked to him in five plus years i mean i tweet at him mini lad minors allegations and that he admitted to these allegations but i don't know the full spectrum of it and i feel like this prison luke guy his videos are a great summary of what certain people go through on the internet he does a great commentary that lets kind of everybody know from a basic standpoint the situation i do want to comment that he did point out that they haven't been really close and they haven't talked really close in probably five years and that sort of shows that so close to toast knew these guys before they were as big as they were five years ago it was a completely different landscape for all these guys even before that and another point that he makes is that prism 8 luke makes a really great video on on commentating on stuff and reporting stuff and making sure all the facts and everything's truthful that very wholesome type of commentary that people should be going to watch to be informed and I do just want to point out that he is completely right Prismate Luke is one in a million please go check out Prismate Luke when you get the chance quite sure what happened and if he sexually harassed what was going on he was sending pictures to underage 
fans and yeah just a messy situation messy situation but pretty messed up i can understand why sakosatos isn't sitting here saying anything more than what he said there he is going to be very careful with his words but i do just want to point out that he looks very uncomfortable having to talk about this because he's probably very disappointed and shocked that all this had to happen to mini lad and the reason why it had to happen is because he messed up mini lad did very immoral type things and plenty of other youtubers have come and gone from the group uh, they were the biggest no, thing out there on I'm youtube for a while there. with all the main <laughs> Members now have I do want to point out in the last video I made about So Close to Toast reacting to the Louis Caliber situation, a lot of people wanted to point out that So Close to Toast isn't really a Vanoss crew member. He is. He was one of the founding people with the whole group. Ham, Sark, Spoonerism, all of them. To say that he's not part of it is kind of like to say that Sark isn't a part of it just because he doesn't play with them anymore. Or Mexicutioner's not part of the Vanoss crew. Like, come on. Maybe the Vanoss crew that you watch today isn't including So Close to Toast and Mr. Sark and Spoonerism and Executioner, but the Vanoss crew that everyone else knew back in the day, the founding people included So Close to Toast. And there's some really, really great videos with So Close to Toast in there with the Vanoss crew. Knock-on effect of people coming to me accusing me of doing that. And that's, that hurt. And that really hurt. It really hurt. It sounds but like instead of losing a friend to something tragic like death, victim. He lost it to him becoming a worse and worse person. That's what it looks like, does it not? Like, it sounds like Mini Lad's playing the victim card. That's exactly what he did. And if someone like So Close to Toast can point this out, someone that was part of the group a long time ago, was a close friend of Mini Lad years and years ago, but now is more of like a distant friend, it's pretty obvious to see that yes, he did play the victim card. He tried to sit here and throw everything onto Brian, he tried to throw things onto Sammy, and obviously going forward he's gonna do everything he can to throw everything Thing that is wrong with him onto the people who are hating and dissing on him now for being a pedo and again he'll try to play the victim card again people like to do this a lot when they don't face up and own to what they did it's very common Clem saying stuff like how he's hard for a 17 year old girl oh! not only this he also manipulates these girls by talking about how scared he is manipulating them by saying how he regrets doing it and how he will lose everything if they say anything if there's one thing i will give to craig is that he admitted to this Instead of lying to everyone when this- And this is where you'll see throughout the video, there is a lot of reactions from So Close to Toast where he is just absolutely disgusted, baffled, shocked, and honestly, probably pretty angry and upset that the fact that he did something like this. So Close to Toast, I don't know if you're watching this or not, but we all feel your pain. We all do. A lot of us looked up to Mini Lad for years and years and years as fans, and it disgusted us when we found out the truth about him. Got in the public and- I mean, how can you? How can you? Did you see the amount of screenshots? And not like sick for myself or anything like that, but just like sick for these, these people, these girls that- Dude. You have a responsibility that your responsibility is to understand where your place is in society. You have this huge channel, this power playing it up for an audience. That's like, you know, 12 to 25. Like, what are these people thinking? What are these people actually thinking? And then like in this era of everybody having phones and being recorded, where are the brain cells going? <laughs> I like how So Close to Toast pretty much just called Mini Lad brain dead, called him stupid, and it was a very stupid thing for Mini Lad to do. And like So Close to Toast said, how can you, how can you defend yourself or fight back against this? You can't. So he admitted it, he apologized to it which Prismate Luke in the original video points out that at least he sat here, admitted it, and tried to apologize, even though the apology was garbage. And his video apology was also garbage. Where's the IQ? These people become so successful, get so much money, so rich, that you think they are successful, yet they're doing these things that are criminal, that you would equate to not being successful, not being somebody that you would want to be like. Setting a bad example to the youth. And he had a girlfriend, didn't he? Like during most of this, didn't he have a girlfriend? Like a, a sweet girl, like that put you on the right track, you would think, and he's just, being a slime ball. Hi That's exactly what he's doing. He's being a slime ball about it. And he did have a sweet girl. Her name is Sammy, aka Sunny Day. She live streams on Twitch. 
She's an amazing Twitch streamer and just an amazing person overall. I've watched a lot of her videos and a lot of her live streams. And every single time she popped up in a mini lad video, she was just so enjoyable to watch. And maybe Minnie was on the right track. But a lot of this pedo allegation stuff happened before he had a girlfriend. And both of the people that were involved in the whole mini lad situation, both the minors, wanted mini lad's new girlfriend, Sammy, to know this information. But mini lad refused and said no, he wasn't going to do it. Or at least he said that he was going to do it or tried dodging that he was going to do it, but never did. It. I'm like trying not to get like too emotional about this because it's just probably a bad look to get too emotional about it because this really is the first time that I've kind of seen all the screenshots displayed out like that. It's uncomfortable. It's a lot of things. I'm just gonna let the video play and stuff tell. I didn't even know he was gonna say that it was a little uncomfortable for him. I know I said that a little earlier in this video, but I didn't even know he used the word uncomfortable. But yeah, we see your emotion so close to us. It's not a problem at all seeing your emotion. Again, you gamed and you were close to this guy years ago. He was a friend of yours. And to see a guy go through a downfall when he was at one of his highest highs, it is disturbing and it's really uncomfortable to see, especially all the screenshots and all the dirty intentions he had on Twitter says it's the return of the pedo what proof do we have of him changing none he fled America because he could have been prosecuted <laughs> I just thought that was a funny thing to include in the video good little laugh return of the pedo He's for a while now just didn't feel like the videos were good enough I struggle a lot with mental health issues uh I'm not saying he doesn't have mental the whole the whole him using I'm gonna hurt myself suicide as an excuse triggers me so much that gives me mental health problems hearing that anybody that uses suicide as an excuse as a crutch for sympathy points is so oh my there's something wrong with you he used a lot of this mental health bull crap with these victims to kind of try to keep them quiet and keep their attention and this is like where a lot of the blackmailing and the soliciting came from and yeah it is really really hard to end up seeing this and it probably gets other people really upset and it might cause some sort of depression for other people to see especially if so many people looked up to mini lad at one point and then all of a sudden they're seeing that their idol the person that they looked up to for years and years and years poured money into his streams by donating money into his merch money to go out fly out and see him at the live fan events yeah and then all of a sudden you end up seeing that he's using mental health just to get the attention of the girls to blackmail them to keep them quiet and not to say certain things yeah it's pretty disturbing and it might cause you some issues too i 100 percent agree with so close to toast here he's given us nothing except a twitter post in the beginning of a new video talking about how he's changed and how his mental health is better now and all that crap I still gotta talk about that video. Can I also point out that you can't say yourself that you've changed, you just have to visualize and prove it to others, and then the others can say collectively if you've changed. It's like giving yourself a nickname. That's not how it works. Other people give you the nickname. There's just too much irony going on in this video. It hurts. It hurts. And I, I feel bad for his ex-girlfriend, who, like kind of just gets glossed over in this whole situation like she went through so much stuff at, but the 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 crate it gets even worse it's like and it has to deal with minors but i, I feel for her it, her too like the ex-girlfriend i completely agree with him here the first point i want to get by is that you can't sit here and say that you've gone through some sort of change and stuff like that especially after something this big and expect that to be taken seriously we have to see the change other people have to see the change again it ain't up to you whether or not you change it's up to us we sat here and called you out for what you did because you were disgusting in what you did and you ain't gonna sit here and decide when you have changed and when you are better and when everyone should be liking you again we we decide when you've changed. We decide when we come back to you. And most of us will say probably never. And then he points out something good here too. Sunny they had to sit here and take a lot of verbal abuse and just overall relationship abuse. The up and down mini lad did with her is just completely ridiculous. And there's a whole story about that I would like to end up covering in a video at one point. But Mini Lad did do some pretty bad things, and I'm sure with a simple Google search you can find out what he did to Sammy, aka Sunny Day, and understand the full situation. Oh my god, dude. I didn't realize how deep this went and how dark it went. Video too. The video itself is just another one of those Minecraft videos. But in the first four minutes it's how it took a turn for the worse, and that's why do I love? I want thing. Oh. Real and honest. I I haven't been yeah. happy with myself for a while. I think real and honest. Then we would love that. Are we getting that in this though? 
How, how do you come back from this? I don't think anybody can give a legitimate answer of how do you come back from this. And see, he pointed out something good here. How do we know that you're honest or not? How do we know you're going to sit here and be truthful? You lied to us for years by not telling us that any of this stuff happened. You committed these crimes, these acts, so many years ago, trying to hide it. Having screenshots proven that you're trying to hide it. And then all of a sudden you decide to come out when you started getting called out. But it got to the point where you it all. I was so focused on making sure that my channel was good and the videos came out and what about this the girl? was okay yeah, because... This. Thank and you. that's what I've come to realize. They're working on my mental state. I like how So Close to Toast is pretty much pissed off like we all were. Sitting here not talking about the actual situation and just focusing all on him and his channel and his own so-called mental health. So if you genuinely do not think that Craig deserves to be cancelled for this, or that he deserves a second chance, go watch this video. Tell me that Craig deserves success after what he's done. We're just gonna let that shit slide? No. I felt so fucking terrified. I was just trying to be a good friend. I was just trying to be a good friend, and I thought that's what he thought I was, but all I was was a goddamn tool. A goddamn tool to keep... to keep anybody from knowing who he truly was. People need to hear why he doesn't deserve to come back. That's and even if you don't support Greg... Man! Like, he really thinks about everything that I'm thinking about during the video, and he makes a little point about... Yeah, listening to that girl choke up a little bit when she's talking about feeling like a tool i almost got choked up a little bit hearing that because i think a lot of us know what it feels like to be a tool in a relationship and just being one-sided and having the person kind of put you in a weird position and i'm an adult i'm a boomer and this happens to me but i can't even imagine this happening to a minor from an adult that's just such a weird power dynamic to me it breaks your heart for them because you know like he's just putting on this emotional weight and stress onto her and she's probably never had to deal with anything like that in her life and if she has it's just been horrible like even as a young kid having to deal with suicide just evil dark thoughts that happen it's hard to kind of come to grips with that as a kid and then having emotional baggage from an adult putting that onto you I just can't even imagine and like as a guy I can't even really imagine because this is something that I feel primarily just happens to women to girls ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna need to take a seat and chill out for a little bit I've talked to Hallie from time to time and it is really sickening to hear especially from Hallie, everything that Minnie Lad did against her and to hurt her, whether it was intentional or not. And yeah, it does get you mad. It does get you choked up and you want to sit here and cry with her. And the fact that So Close to Toast is super relatable and everything that he says in this video, I don't know, it just shows me another level of respect for a guy that I never thought I'd go around to watching again after he broke off from the Vanoss crew. I just want to point out one thing in this video. If you think that he's not some part of the group anymore, that's fine. If you think I'm making too many videos about Mini Lad, that's fine. If you think that everyone should just drop the Mini Lad thing and move on, that's fine. But I do want to point out something. What Mini Lad did was completely awful. He's still getting hundreds of thousands of views. Many people sit here and think that he's done absolutely nothing wrong at all. And do you think that's right for him to get all this support and all this love when he doesn't deserve it? After he's done what he's did? After treating these two minors completely immoral and doing very immoral things with them? Do you think it's right for him to treat his ex-group, his ex-friends, really, really badly? Do you think it's right for him to sit here, not take a relationship so seriously, and verbally abuse his ex? Do you think it's right for him to lie to all of us? The answer is no. It's not all right what he did. It's not all right what he's done. And it's not all right that he's still getting the love and the support and the views that he's getting now. Anyways, guys, that's the video for today. Thank you so much, So Close to Toast, for coming out and talking about this. Thank you guys for tuning in to this video. If you guys would like to support anybody that I mentioned in this video, including Prismate Luke, Hallie2364, So Close to Toast, look for their links down in the description below. Also down in the description below, please join my Discord. Find my second channel and just have a very great christmas guys thank you guys so much happy holidays and i will see you guys all next time peace